I should be discussing some problems on centrifugal clutch. Uh, so the first problem goes like this. So see, a centrifugal clutch transmits 20 kilowatt at 750 RPM consists of four shoes the clutch to be engaged at 500 RPM the inner radius of the drum is 165 mm while the radius to the center of uh, to the center of gravity of shoes in engaged position is 140 mm the coefficient of friction is 0.3 now you uh, you require to calculate the mass of each shoe you require to calculate the mass of each shoe now if you concentrate on this uh, if you concentrate on this how to solve the problem basically uh, you could uh, you could see this so this is the this is the diagram which i have drawn uh, so this is this is the uh, this is the actually the drum and this is the shoe and this is the spring force which is acting in the downward direction and as the centrifugal force increases uh, it gives pressure and it when it is against the spring force when it is more than frictional force when p you and uh, we have discussed in our previous lecture when pcf2 if you follow my previous lecture is greater than spring force then what happens uh, the drum the lining friction lining comes the, the friction lining comes in contact uh, contact with the drum the friction lining comes in contact with the drum and then what happened as in uh, as the inner as uh, uh, as this portion is connected with the inner shaft so what happened power is transmitted to the outer shaft and the, and because it is in contact coefficient of friction due to coefficient of friction that is mu to pcf2 minus pcs this is the transmitting force which is transmitted to the uh, the drum and as the drum is connected to the outer shaft power is transmitted to the outer shaft from the driven shaft now what are the given what are the given things over here what are the given criteria uh, uh, in this problem what are the things given in this problem if you, if you concentrate what are the things given in the problem the power is given the power it is required to transmit 20 kilowatt is given the end to rpm that is the rpm when it is in contact that is 750 rpm this is also given uh, the the initial rpm when it starts when uh, the time taken for the machine to uh, the the input shaft or the driven shaft uh, to warm up uh, or the initial torque is uh, or the initial to take the initial torque that R, that rpm is given as five 500 rpm rd rd is what rd is the inner radius that is the uh, connected to the drum is given 165 mm and the rg and rg that is when it is con uh, connected with the center of gravity this RG is given as 140 mm and mu and the coefficient of friction mu is given as 0.3. Now these are the data which are given. Now from these data we could calculate uh, what we could calculate. First we calculate the omega 2 that is when it is in contact. So uh, 2 pi n2 by 60, uh, 2 pi n2 we, we should put the value of n2 over here and we should get this value of omega 2 78.54 rad per second. Now when putting the value of omega as n1 so when you put the value of n1 that is 500 rpm you put the value over there you get the you get the rpm as 52.36 rad per second now power what is the power requirement you know the calculation of power is given as 2 pi nt 2 pi n into mt by 16 to 1000 so everything power this is known this value is known this n uh, this n is also known this n is also known when you put this value of of this n we should get the power we should get the power but uh, this n is the when it is connected uh, with the when it is connected to the when it, is, when it is connected to the shaft so when you put this value of n uh, when you put this value of n as uh, <laughs> you, you uh, when you put this value of n is equal to 750 rpm at uh, that rpm they were the contact has made so n is taken as n2 you get this value of 2546.79 newton meter newton millimeter now what happened when you put this value now uh, we know that mt mt that is a that is the torque transmitting is given as mu m rg into rd into z by omega 2 into 1000 uh, this formulation has been done in, uh, in in the previous how we get this formulation has been discussed in the previous lecture now from this the what are the known parameter this is known this value this value this value is known this is known only mu is also known only unknown parameter is m so we subject to the formula of m and we put all these values over here we put we get this value of uh, we get the value of mtf from here we put the value of mtf from here and we put all the values and we get the value of m as 
2.68 kg because four we also know there are four so there are three as because there are four masses are there we, uh, so we the put the value of z is equals to four and uh, uh, we put the value of z this is the value of z this is the value of z equals to four so this is a, this is also a given parameter i based out this is the value of z is equals to four so we put the value and we'll get cal uh, calculate the value of m is equals to 2.68 kg this mass this mass is given this this mass is given for a, a single uh, <coughs> for a single load actually this mass is given for a single shoe this mass is given for a single shoe okay now we are coming to the second problem of centrifugal clutch uh, so just uh, watch how to solve the problem what is the problem basically given so it consists of a centrifugal clutch uh, consists of four shoes each having a mass of 1.5 kg in the engaged position the radius of the center of gravity of the shoes is 110 mm while the inner radius of the drum is 140 mm the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3 the preload in the spring is adjusted in such a way that the spring force at the beginning of engagement is 7 is 700 newton the running speed is 1440 rpm calculate number one speed at which engagement begins and number two the power transmitted by the clutch at 1440 rpm now with this consideration we should start we know our general criteria so what is given and what is not not given in the problem so first what is given ps ps is given to us that is the power transmitted uh, uh, or the, sorry the spring force is given as 7 700 newton the spring force is given as 700 newton the coefficient of friction mu is given as 0 0.3 rg that is the diameter when it is in contact uh, of the shoe is 110 mm and n2 that is uh, the rpm when it is in contact is given as uh, 1440 rpm that is n2 z the number of shoes is given as 4 and mass of a uh, number of shoes so number of uh, number of connecting shoes are given as 4 and what happened uh, mass of each shoe is given as 1.5 kg so these are the things given so now from this we should uh, we know that the spring force basically when the engine uh, is uh, just initially started it's warm up so initially the centrifugal force is not as much that it overcomes the spring force so uh, the spring force is here is equal is equal to the initial uh, uh, centrifugal force and it is given as m omega 1 square rg into 1000 at this condition we know that the spring force 700 is given and the mass of the spring is given and uh, the uh, the rg the radius when it is in uh, when it is in not in contact with just when the inner diameter with with these values we put and we get the value of omega 1 is equal to 6513 radian so at this condition condition the it is not connected now n1 from this we calculate the value of n1 uh, the speed at which engagement begins the from this uh, we should calculate the value of uh, sorry the value of actually this should be the value of n2 uh, now we are coming to the second problem of centrifugal clutch uh, so just uh, watch how to solve the problem what is the problem basically given so it consists of a centrifugal clutch uh, consists of four shoes each having a mass of 1.5 kg in the engaged position the radius of the center of gravity of the shoes is 110 mm while the inner radius of the drum is 140 mm the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3 the preload in the spring is adjusted in such a way that the spring force at the beginning of engagement is seven is 700 newton the running speed is 1440 rpm calculate number one speed at which engagement begins and number two the power transmitted by the clutch at 1440 rpm now with this consideration we should start we know our general criteria so what is given and what is not not given in the problem so 
Now when we start with what are the things given over there, we see we know that the spring force is given, the coefficient of friction mu is given, Rg, uh, that is uh, the radius of the inner radius of the shoe when it is not in contact is given 110 mm, N2 is given as 1440 uh, rpm, N2 that, that means uh, N2 is a speed at which uh, uh, when the uh, when the shoe is in contact with the drum so this is and uh, when the power is transmitted n2 at that speed power uh, it is in contact now z is equal to number of uh, shoes which is equal to 4 and mass of each shoe is given as 1.5 kg now with this con uh, consideration we start solving the problem we know that uh, when it is in contact we know when it is in contact that is when p uh, uh, at the beginning when the uh, when the motor uh, when, or the prime mover is started it initially uh, gains the RPM, uh, it warms up and gains the RPM. So at that condition, the centrifugal force is not so much that it comes in contact with the driven shaft or the drum. So for that reason, th this force is equal to the spring force. So we could uh, we could take this PS that is the spring force is equal to PCF1 and we take the value of is equal to m omega 1 square by rg that is pcf is equal uh, spring force equals to the centrifugal force when the contact is not made so at this condition we, we put the value of pcf is equal to seven uh, 700 then we calculate the uh, put the values of mass is equal to one uh, mass which is given as 1.5 omega 2 omega 1 is not known we put the value of rg which is given as 100 and uh, 10 that is when not in contact at this by putting this we get the value of omega 1 as 65.13 rad per second 65.13 rad per second now we know that omega uh, omega 1 is equal to 2 pi n by 60 from this we calculate the value of n1 so uh, we get the value of n1 as 6 to 1.98 rpm that is at this rpm it is not in contact the the clutch that is in this rpm the driven shaft is not connected with the driving shaft or the, the shoes are not connected with the drum so now the then what is the omega now this is the speed at which 14040 this is the speed at which uh, it is in contact uh, with the <coughs> when the clutch is contact uh, with the drum or when the shoe is in contact with the drum and power is transmitted so we calculate the value of omega 2 if you calculate the value of omega 2 we put the value of 2 pi n2 by 60 and we get it is at 150.6 150.80 rad per second so at this at this value of omega at this value of omega it is uh, the the shoe is the the this it, it overcomes it, it if you see that if it, it overcomes if this is a shoe it overcomes the friction uh, the frictional force it overcomes the frictional force and it moves in contact with the drum with the drum and then power is transmitted then the torque of the power is transmitted now this is the formulation we know mt is equals to mu m uh, mu m into rg uh, into z into omega 2 by omega 1 where mu is equals to 0 0.3 we know m is given as 1.5 of each of, uh, of each shoe rg is 110 and rd is uh, and rd is known as 140 rd is, is given over here also i haven't put rd is also given rd uh, is also given parameter so rd is also given over there rd rd is when in contact it is given as 140 mm 140 mm so this is also given so we put the value of rd 140 mm over there the number of shoes four number of shoes we get for four and then omega 2 and omega 1 both values are known now we put the values for omega 2 and omega 1 and we get the value of this a torque transmitted that is 512.784.6 newton meter this amount of torque is transmitted now from this we calculate what is the power because the question is asked the power transmitted by the clutch at 1404 rpm so what is the power transmitted at this uh, when the rpm is 1440 so we put the value of we calculate we know that power is equal to 2 by n into mt into 16 to 1000 so from this uh, from this uh, from this consideration what we do basically uh, what we do basically we put the value uh, we put the value of this empty this empty value is known this is the empty value we calculate from here so we put the value of empty over here we put the value of empty empty over here this n is also known 1440 and we get the value of 17 77.3 kilowatt so this power is transmitted when the rpm is 1440 okay so that is all uh, this is the second uh, there are two problems solved uh, uh, in centrifugal clutch so if you like my lecture so i should just put a thumb mark to it and uh, i just continue sending more and more lectures next we should be discussing on breaks uh